big board. Like we it. need the big board because this is a big top five on Top Five Tuesday. The top five wins over number one ranked teams for BYU Athletics. Hey, okay, number five, women's volleyball against Stanford 2018. You called this game. I remember it well. Preseason number one, Stanford. Number nine, BYU. Don't forget, the Cougs were pretty good too. 2-0 lead. Ronnie jones Perry's 20 kills. Heather Knighting as a freshman, 10 blocks. Stanford wins the next two. Match point refs review this controversial call. Ronnie jones Perry definitely touched it. But Catherine Plummer, National Player of the Year later, touches the antenna. And what does Mike Farish say? Point Cougars, they win 15-11, beating number one Stanford. They would later meet up again in the Final Four. Stanford won that match, but it was fun early in the season to get that win because it propelled BYU yes. later to be number one for most of the year. Yes, that was such a special night in the Smithfield. That was great. Oh, my goodness. Number four, also within the volleyball realm. This is a volleyball school, people. Yes, it is. The men's team. We're ranked number two. They were unbeaten. They were 16 and 0, going to Hawaii oh, to take so on number one UH. And guess what? The Cougars brought it. They swept the Warriors. Dominating performance. 17 straight wins to open the 2020 season. Propelled them to overtake the number one spot in the national rankings. And then COVID happened. Ugh. BYU hit 603 in, in that match, Spencer. I, I've called that. As, that's as good as BYU's ever played in a match. They were going to win the national championship that year, Jeremy. If they passed in the national championship game, yes. That's been BYU's problem in 13, 16, 17, and 21. They were going to win the 2020 the national one. championship. I think The so. men's basketball team was going to go to the Sweet 16, too. Or better. Dang it. Number three, number seven, soccer against UCLA last week. Oh, yeah. Last yeah. week. This was special, too. How about the storyline of two Bruins on BYU squad? playing against UCLA. <laughs> Ellie Walbrook was on UCLA's team last year. She's she scores the, that amazing goal. To Jared, open she it up. was on the field for less than a minute when what, she did that. What are we talking about? And then Rachel McCarthy. <clears throat> she's been watching Inter Miami and Messi apparently. Holy mackerel. Then Aaron Bailey seals the deal. EB7, boom goes to Dynamite in the 79th. BYU wins 3-1, taking down number one UCLA last Thursday. Oh yeah. Number two. Rewind eh, about six years. BYU men's basketball on the road against unbeaten number one Gonzaga. They printed newspapers about their perfect <laughs> season before the game tipped off. BYU was down 18 to 2 in this game, and the Cougars stormed back to shock the Zags. TJ Haas, you saw it with his big three pointers. Eric Mika had a massive game. Tied at 71. Eric Mika hits a clutch jumper after this error, or rather this Elijah Bryant shot. Jim and the Cardinals Cougars team. take the lead. BYU wins 79-71 and spoil Gonzaga's perfect season on senior night in the kennel. Third straight win in Spokane that year. <laughs> was wow. unbelievable. Number one, clearly 1990. BYU football taking on Miami. BYU ranked uh, 16th, 17th coming into the game and beating yes. UTEP the week before. Down 7-0, Matt Bellini in the end zone from Ty Detmer. 38 passes, uh, completed 406 yards, three touchdowns, seven yard TD pass to Mike Salito, puts the Cougars up for good. They win 28 21. People forget, and, the, and this is the all time fan. Oh, you only gave the ball away five times in this game. Four lost fumbles. Miami finished the season third in the country. Detmer went on to win the Heisman. That is the best win in BYU sports history. Spencer? Oh, my gosh. Like all sports, that's football's well, best Again, with where, with where that team finished, speaking of Miami, they were yeah. number three in the polls. They, they won a great major then. bowl game. And at the end. Of Granted, in 2018, however, Stanford won the national championship in women's volleyball. Yeah, so that was a great win, too. That was also amazing. Because BYU plays them again and loses, maybe it, 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 it lessens that it a little, little bit. bit. Okay. But that was a great win early in the season, no doubt. Yeah, we'll see what happens with UCLA. Like, that Gonzaga team that BYU beat, that was a national championship team. They went to the national championship and lost to North game. Carolina. Yeah, yeah. These are bad. all amazing oh, wins. It's always good to beat number one. It's never a Holy bad thing. Cow. You missed any interviews. Wins over number one. You can see those as well.